You can see right now the impact. Some of the residents that we've spoken with say the last time that they saw this kind of damage was with Irene last year, and the extent of damage with Irene really just reached this much. So we still have many more hours to go before high tide comes tonight, and you can already see what they're dealing with. Boats right now look like they're almost about to flow into these backyards. You can see the docks already uprooted from their positions, looking like they're also going to go into the backyards. While we're dealing with this here along this canal, it's important to point out this is what a lot of the streets in this community look like this morning. We were in Long Beach driving here to this location to go live, and it was very difficult. A lot of the streets already flooded out. We had a difficult time getting to this location. And I can tell you right now, in terms of damage, we're going to see a lot of cars destroyed by this storm. Already, so many cars that we saw have water up until their doors. A lot of people have heeded the warnings in this area, fleeing, evacuating, going and sitting with friends and family in shelters and other higher ground locations. We've seen cars dropped off at higher ground as people flee these areas. In terms of flooding, obviously the top concern, but the wind gusts, you can hear it behind me, another big issue we're expecting, as you heard Al say, anywhere from 75 to maybe 85 mile an hour wind gusts. You see the trees behind me, while a lot of them have their leaves off, there are still those with their leaves on, and as that gust picks up, you can imagine the trees coming down, those power lines coming down with it, a lot of power outages here in this community expected. In fact, like the Long Island Power Authority, the utility in this area already warning residents to expect to go without power for as long as seven to ten days. An incredibly long period of time. One of the reasons this area and so many here in Nassau County and Suffolk County are under that mandatory evacuation. For those that have chosen to stay, they say they did so because Irene wasn't that bad and they wanted to make sure that the homes that they own were safe during this storm. Of course, the warning right now this morning as we head into Sandy's arrival is to stay inside and be safe. Don't come out as this storm gets closer. Savannah? All right, WNBC's